guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about something that I'm actually really hesitant to talk about, and that is I'm kind of getting concerned for the future of Heartland, and I'm really starting to worry that if this doesn't change within the Heartland community, that season 16 of Heartland may be the last season of the show, and I really don't want that to happen, so that is, of course, why I'm making this video and talking to you guys, but before you... Before I get into all that, I need to remind you guys to please leave a like on the video if you enjoy and to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for daily Heartland videos and season 16 updates. I've been really trying to get 100 likes on each video and I know it's possible if everyone watching this video leaves a like on the video, so make sure you go down there and hit the like button. It really does help out my channel tremendously and obviously subscribe if you haven't already because you'll get daily Heartland videos and season 16 updates, so why not? So anyway, when it comes to why I'm so concerned about Heartland and the future of Heartland. You guys know I love Heartland. I don't want Heartland to end. So when I, when I see this kind of thing within the Heartland community, and when I make certain videos that get certain uh, kinds of comments, it really does scare me uh, for the future of Heartland. And what I'm talking about is when I make videos talking about Amy being in another relationship, or Georgie and Quinn becoming the new Amy and Ty in the future of Heartland, people freak out. They don't like it. They don't want to accept it. Uh, they say that if Amy finds a new love interest, they'll stop watching the show. People are still saying that Heartland is no good anymore because Ty's not in the show. And guys, this, this is becoming a problem. Because if more and more people stop watching the show, CBC is going to cancel it. Because yes, Heartland is the longest running Canadian drama TV show. But at the end of the day, if people stop watching, the viewer numbers are gonna go down and no TV show network wants to have a show running that is not being viewed by as many people as possible. So why I'm making this video is to say that I know, okay, I know there's a lot of Amy and Ty fans out there that don't want to see Amy, Amy move on, that don't want to see Georgie and Quinn become the new main uh, relationship that the Heartland writers focus on. However, if this stuff doesn't happen, if the show doesn't progress uh, past Ty's death, and if, if the characters don't move on, and if new things don't start happening, um, you know, the show is just going to become boring and stale and you're gonna be like why am i watching this i could be watching something that is a lot more entertaining because people watch tv shows to be entertained so if the heartland writers don't use the best storylines possible that are entertaining storylines people are going to stop watching and at the end of the day heartland is a multi-generational show it is a show that is made for uh, new characters to take the spotlight, uh, multiple characters to be considered the main character. So when it comes to Amy finding a new love interest or Georgie and Quinn becoming the new main relationship on the show, if this doesn't happen, if fans don't become okay with the idea of Amy eventually, not even in season 16 guys, but just eventually in the show, if they don't become um, okay and accept the fact that Amy's the main character of the show, the Heartland writers need to come up with interesting storylines that keep fans entertained and interested and invested and keep them coming back every Sunday night as it premieres on CBC. If they don't realize that and realize that with Ty no longer being a part of the show, the easiest and one of the most, um, probably one of the easiest ways to keep fans interested is what is going to happen with Amy? Is she going to have another love interest? Then what is going to happen with Georgie and Quinn? Are they going to become the new Amy and Ty? What's going to happen to Lindy? You know, how is the Heartland family? And by that, I mean, like, Lou, uh, Jack, Lisa, Tim, Jessica, all that. How are those characters going to react to Amy being okay with dating again and moving on past Ty's death and being ready 
to um, to enter a new relationship with someone. And all these questions are questions that the Heartland writers can answer in a very, very easy way. But if the Heartland writers see that Heartland fans will get so angry if Amy moves on or if Georgie and Quinn become the spotlight, they're not going to do it. And then the show's going to end because they're going to run out of storylines because there's only so many times we can see Amy work with a troubled horse without there being another storyline. There's normally two to three storylines going on within a Heartland season and normally two per episode, right? You have some kind of horse related issue that Amy's trying to solve and then some family drama issue either with Tim and Jessica or Lou and Peter or something like that or maybe Amy and this new relationship. My whole point being is that if Heartland fans don't realize that Amy needs to move on. Amy's the main character. She's young and deserves to find love again. If they don't come to accept that and realize that with Amy being the main character, the Heartland writers need to have storylines that focus on Amy. If that doesn't happen, the show's going to end. So you have two choices. You have uh, Heartland ends now, or people become okay with and accept the fact that if you want there to be more seasons of Heartland, Amy needs to move on. Georgie and Quinn will probably most likely become the new main relationship that the TV show focuses on if Amy does not enter a new relationship uh, relatively soon. But when that does happen, if Amy does enter a new relationship, Amy will obviously become uh, Amy and whoever she is in a relationship with will obviously become the new uh, focus of the show. But if that doesn't happen, the writers are going to run out of stuff to uh, talk about and to write and they're going to run out of stories to tell. So do you want Heartland to end? Or do you want to become okay with Amy moving on? That's basically all I have for today's video because honestly, whenever I make videos talking about uh, Amy and a new relationship or Georgie and Quinn or Lou and Peter, basically anything that's not talking about Amy and Ty, people are like, the show's not good anymore because Ty's not there. And if Amy, if Amy moves on, I'm going to be heartbroken. Or if Amy moves on, I'm not going to watch the show anymore. I'm like... This is becoming a problem. And I don't want Heartland to end. I want people to realize that this TV show has so much potential. And I can honestly see Heartland going on for 20 plus seasons if people are willing to give the writers a chance to tell the stories that they have planned. Because trust me when I say the writers of the show have stuff planned. And going by past seasons, uh, I have complete faith and trust in the writers of this show. Now please keep in mind, I am in no way, shape, or form affiliated with the show. I just have complete trust faith, and faith in the writers and cast and crew of this show to continue creating fantastic seasons for many years to come if the Heartland fans will allow them to do so. But that is all I have for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.